Welcome to Deep in the Crypt, a channel dedicated to the paranormal, the strange, and the supernatural. If you like the video, please pulverize the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now, it's time to go deep in the crypt. Castle Rush, or Castle Roach as it's more commonly known, is a magnificent Norman castle located in County Louth, Ireland. This impressive castle, perched on a rugged rocky outcrop with a great vantage position over the surrounding area, was sacked and ruined during Oliver Cromwell's invasion of Ireland in 1641. The castle was built in 1236 and was the headquarters of the Verdun family, named after the city in northern France. This French or Norman family helped William the Conqueror invade Britain in 1066. They then settled in Staffordshire where they built Alton Castle. The Verduns then participated in the Anglo-Norman invasion of Ireland in 1171 under King Henry II. The family then settled in the area near Dundalk, County Louth, which is the smallest county in Ireland, and they first built a manor house in the 12th century before building the castle in the 13th. Today's story comes from a terrifying legend that is associated with the woman who built the castle, Rohesia de Verdun. Now this woman was both ambitious and very, very ill-tempered. Legend states that Rohesia was so demanding and difficult to deal with that she couldn't find an architect to build her castle. Nobody wanted to work for her, and with good cause. Now Rohesia was not only rich and from a powerful family, but she was also considered physically attractive, and she used this to her advantage. Rohesia announced that she would marry the man who agreed to build her castle for her. It so happened that an ambitious young architect called James stepped forward and confidently accepted this proposal. He thought he would not only get himself a rich wife with a castle, but he was also getting a dream opportunity to build this castle, which was going to do wonders for his career. So he was all in. This was win-win or so he thought. The young man set to work day and night building this massive castle for Oesia de Verdun. He picked the perfect spot on this big rock with a commanding view of the local area. He built it high and he built it strong. It had a triangular courtyard with a big thick curtain wall all the way around it. It had a twin tower gatehouse and a moat. It was virtually impregnable impenetrable, and when it was built, it was an absolute marvel to behold. Rohesia was ecstatic, overjoyed. She was now the proud owner of the most exceptional fortress in the land, and of course, now she was to be married to the man who built her castle. So Rohesia and James were married, and they had a huge banquet in the great hall of the newly built castle, feasting and drinking and making merry into the wee wee hours. Finally the party was over and Rohesia led her husband upstairs in the castle to their wedding bed. She walked him over to the grand window of the bedroom and invited him to look out on the lands that he was now a joint owner of. Her husband, who was at least slightly tipsy after the party, stepped forward to the open window and excitedly looked down on his new domain. Suddenly. Rohesia leapt from behind and with her two hands shoved him out the window and James fell to his death on the rocks outside the castle. And that was the end of the man who built Castle Rush. Now Rohesia, who was widely suspected of the murder, perhaps being from such a powerful family, was never accused of the crime and she continued to live as a free woman in the castle. Over the years, Many have speculated as to her motive. Maybe she didn't want to share her wealth or her castle with anyone. Or maybe she didn't want anyone but her to know all the secrets held within the castle. At any rate, the window that James was shoved out of became ominously known as the murder window. Now, some time after the murder of her husband, Rohesia entered a nunnery in Leicestershire back in merry old England. Could it be that Rohesia was so overcome with guilt for what she had done that she turned to a life of chastity and repentance? Well, we'll probably never know, but it is said that the ghost of James, the betrayed husband and architect, 
haunts the ruined castle today. Some say that his pale and ghostly face could be seen at night, looking through the window that he was thrown out of. Visitors to the castle have reported feeling a deep sense of dread and uneasiness within its ruined walls and chambers. Some say this is the dark spirit of the ill-tempered and murderous Rohesia Verdun, haunting the ruins of the magnificent castle that she had built in 1236. Others say that Rohesia's spirit haunts a roadway in England between the nunnery in Leicestershire and her final resting place, Belton Church. Apparently, there have been many credible sightings there of the ghost of a lady, all dressed in white. Either way, Castle Roche or Castle Roach, however you want to call it, is a very spooky castle and I wouldn't want to be there at night. So, that's it for today, lads. What did you think of the story? Do you believe the legend of Rohesia Verdun who murdered her husband on their wedding night? Or do you believe he simply fell out of the window? He fell out. And do you believe the ghosts of James and Rohesia haunt that castle? That would be ironic, wouldn't it? Not even married for one day and have to spend eternity together in that castle? Ooh. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave your comments. Please also pulverize the like button and subscribe to the channel. And remember, stay scary.